All right, hello everyone. So this is Haven, and I see quite a few people that are confused about getting to the beta grid. It's really, really simple. The first thing you want to do is open up your preferences in Second Life, or you can use Control. You can use Control P to do that, or you can go to the Avatar um, button at the upper left corner of your viewer. Come down to the Advanced tab. Now this is Firestorm. It may be slightly different on the um, other viewers, but um, in the Firestorm one, probably in the other ones too, you're going to look for Advanced. And here you have Allow Login to Other Grids. Sometimes it will say to show the grid logins on Startup. Um, there's a few other um, ways that this is, this is um, termed, the way that they say what this does. But allow log into other grids gives you a choice to, like it says, log into other places. So after you do that, click OK and apply. So apply and OK. And then the next thing that you do is you can close down Firestorm or you can um, open up a second instance of it. And let me show you down here. Here I have my login name and password start location but you should have this now log into grid and when you click on this it shows you all the different grids that this uh, viewer can log into and here you have second life beta so you click on that and then you click login and here we go we're logging in oops I must have had the wrong password in there. So let me go ahead and try this again. <laughs> of course, you know, only I would do something like that. Um, so, give me one second. And sometimes what happens is, um, I'll explain about the password in a minute. But now it is logging in. There's me testing out address, as you can see. First stages of testing it. <laughs> it's not ready yet. And this is taking a little longer than... Um, well, there we go. So this is a DD. When you log into this grid, you are going to be logged in probably to like um, a sandbox area or something like that, a place where you really can't res anything. So the best thing to do is actually to go to the map, and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so here we are in the beta grid, and the best way to find out where you want to be, let me move my... Uh, let me move my thing down here. Is you see the map section? If you click on this and type in here a sandbox, you can pick a sandbox that you want to teleport to and then just click teleport and you can begin um, building and testing. And you'll see that up here also you get quite a bit amount of lindens. I believe that they start you off with like 50,000 linda, lindens. Um, and this is fake money. It's not real. You can only use it here in the beta grid. And it allows you to pay for your uploads. Okay, so um, the other thing is, is about the inventory. So your inventory will come in just like you have it inside of Second Life at the time that you log in for the first time. But let's say that you uh, log out of here or um, go back into Second Life and you buy a tool or anything like that that you want to um, bring in um, and use. Uh, so like, let's say you get an AnyPose system and you want to, or a Mesh uh, Studio or anything like that, and you want to use it in the beta grid. Well, if you've already logged into the beta grid and then bought that, it's not going to show up in your inventory. You have to actually go on to sl.com and you have to change your password. And after you change your password, about 24 hours later, 
Usually it's never really taken longer than that. When you log into the beta grid again, um, then your inventory will be updated. So this doesn't update from SL automatically. You have to prompt it with a password change. Um, anything that you bring into your um, beta grid though, like if you're testing and you're uploading mesh items or textures or anything, all of that will stay in your beta grid inventory but will not get transferred to your second life inventory. So anyways, I hope that this helps a little bit, um, at least to take the confusion out of how to actually get here and how the inventory works with your second life. Anyways, have a good day and happy, happy building.